Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Vorty here. We got some news. News from the future. But before the news, we're just gonna... We're gonna do this. What is this? Ooh, hello. Hello. Hello, boys and girls. Hello. Just get... <clears throat> Let's get this run out of the way. Yeah, that's right. We started there. In the middle of a run. Chocobos? No, no chocobos. Well, that's too bad. That's too bad. Ooh, let's go lightning stab. Lightning poke. Pew pew. Jump, 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 jump. Wow, that was a small chain. Or two or three or five or ten. Ha. <laughs> hey, coffee. Where have you been all my life? Mmm. Fantastico. I'll repeat. Stabby, 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 stabby. That ram had no chance. <clears throat> Also, remember to Libra all these characters so that you have them forever. Make sure you fill up your Final Fantasy Pokedex. Pew pew. Oh, he can't do it. What a sack of poo. What a sack of poo. Oh well. Oh well, life goes on. We're gonna have to buff. Boost attack. We're gonna have to imperil. Yes, we will. We're gonna have to do uh, that. And what do you have? What do you have that's cool? You can break armor. Why not? You can't do divine ruination because you suck. Whatever. We'll do these two. We will do these two. Pew, pew. Stop! 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 That's right. Those also chain. If you were confused if they chained or not, they do. Because it's chaining off of the actual weapon itself, not the spell. Stabby, 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 step, 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 step. Alright. Now that we've finished stabbing the crap out of that stuff, let's, uh, let's take a look. So, ooh, hello. Nope, no thank you. Alright. So, if you did your uh, messages, if you looked at them, and you did the Chocobolicious, apparently we got the rewards again? Another one? I don't really know how that works. I didn't buy anything afterwards, but we ended up getting another summoning ticket and some more crap from the Chocobolicious uh, event, which is great. Everybody loves free summoning tickets, and my summoning ticket got me nothing. Alright, so this is what we were going to be doing the video about. The video is going to be about uh, the Chamber of Crystals is coming this weekend, which is pretty good for those of you who are still struggling to level up your espers. Again, you should pick these up if you don't have your espers leveled up as soon as possible. So my advice normally is to make sure that you have the ones that are very beneficial leveled up to 2 star as soon as possible and try to pick up those skills like Ifrit is really good to have. Like in order, I would say Titan would be the number one, not Titan, Golem. Golem would be the one that you need to level up right away because you need his Provoke in order to make any of the tanks we have right now eff like efficient. So having Provoke is probably going to be priority number one. So level up Titan to 2 star ASAP. Then you're going to have to pick up somebody like Ifrit unless you have Diablos or uh, Odin already, then make sure that those guys get uh, leveled up to 2 star and that you get their killer abilities and the moves that you know best describe them. So make sure you do that. So Chamber of Crystals, yeah, it's a waste of uh, uh, energy. However, if you are struggling in events and stuff like that, you want to level up those espers. Next! The good stuff! The story continues. Yes, yes it does. The story does continue. A new island will be available for exploration after maintenance on Thursday the 30th. Uh, sept uh, September. March 30th, Chapter 5, Mysidia. First half. Having added Jake to their crew, Rain and the gang make way for Mysidia. They come to learn about what happens here in this, the oldest nation, 700 years ago. Just then, a new Vertas with a stronger hatred for Fina begins chasing after the gang. You know, that Fina, man. She's all bad news. So after clearing all of the main story, you can access the event by tapping on downtown Zoldad on the world map. After the event is over, the new content Mysidia will become selectable, allowing you to access the new story. So personally, I ended up stopping right after I got Odin. So I will continue my story progression uh, probably today. 
so that I have everything ready up to this part here so that I can continue the quest starting from chapter 5. Did I say 4 earlier? Chapter 5? What am I saying? It's V! It's chapter 5! Oh, Vordy. Vordy. So chapter 5. I think I said chapter 4. Who knows? Who knows? Now I can't remember what I said earlier. Whatever. Anyway, so this is good news. We do get the story to continue, which is fantastic. Um, the farther we get in the story, the better access we have to some of the cooler characters from uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. I'm really excited for this because we are progressing through the story fairly quickly, allowing us to be able to have a chance to get the Veritas's earlier. So, if you guys don't know, eventually we will be able to pull on the Veritas, like wind, air, light, blah, blah, blah. And like Dark, Veritas Dark is a beast, so is... Um, Veritas of Earth, who I would really, really like. Those two are kind of my favorite right now, but like light is good too, so is water. Wind too. Wind is, wind is really crazy. He jumped for like 10 turns or something. But anyways, the Veritas's are actually really cool, so that is fantastic. Anyways, moving on to a interesting note. Laswell gets his six star awakening. He becomes a little bit better. I'm not really sure how much better he goes... I don't think he pars up to Rain because Rain does all the breaks and stuff like that. But uh, anyways, he does come to a 6 star and once he goes 6 star then we can talk about him. But I don't know. I've, I haven't heard anything great about him yet. So we'll see how good that goes and what it is. But anyways, for those of you who do have him uh, leveled up, then that's fantastic. I think my Rain and Laswell are like 4 star and I just left them there. But uh, I'm starting to think I might actually level up all of the story characters to their max level and just hold on to them that way so when they do get their six star awakenings or next star awakening i will level them up myself so that i have uh, a, like a character i can use as an example and the reason i want to do this is because a, a lot of you guys that watch my videos are free to play and i want to be able to cater to you guys because these characters are for free and if they're really really good like rain then i want to be able to showcase that so i will be leveling up rain first to a six star because he's uh, currently the best character of the free characters we get um, and then I will try and get Laswell and then all the other people too. Alright, so that is that. I think that's that. I don't think there's anything else. That's it. Th those are the events, boys and girls. Those are the events. Um, yeah, there was nothing else actually that they mentioned. And this brings us one step closer to, I believe it's the wind. Uh, I think it's the wind. I can't remember. In the Japanese version, which order it came. But we do get another Esper. Uh, maybe in the next continent? I think we do get another Esper in this continent when we get to part 2, I believe. Part 2 or part 3? Something like that. We'll get another Esper coming soon. Uh, I don't remember the Esper being very good, so I don't remember if it's good or not. I just remember there's really two more... Well, the one Esper already is gone. So Odin. I was very excited for Odin because Odin's badass. Everybody loves Odin. Then the next one that literally just came out to Japan like a... A month ago was Bahamut. Really, those are the only two I'm really looking forward to. But they do have other ones too that are that are in between that, like three of them or four of them that are in between, which um, which are actually really really cool to have to have. But I don't know how useful they are because I don't see a lot of Japanese players using any of those other ones. So I'm actually a little bit confused if they're going to be useful or not. But anyways, we'll cross that bridge when it does get here. But it is bringing us closer to another Esper. So you guys should get excited about that. And if you're like me, I can't wait for the story as I'm really enjoying the the Final Fantasy Brave Exvius story. It is like kind of wonky. It's like all over the place. But the characters are really cool. Especially Sid. She's definitely my favorite. Uh, I think that's what it is. Sid? Sid? So let me show you my units actually real quick. We're going to go here. We're going to go to the bottom. The ones that don't have any... Yeah, this one. I like her. Lid. Not Sid. Lid. Lid is awesome. I absolutely love Lid. There's L also, who's nothing. There is my Rain. So Rain is 4 star right now. Almost 60. Laswell is also 4 star. Dark, oh, uh, is this Fina? What oh, is Fina? Fina is 5 star. I do have her maxed out, actually. That's right. Because when I started as a new player, I didn't have a healer. So I leveled her up. She was my healer for the longest time until I ended up getting some other healers. So that's pretty cool. So there you go. That's that. So I will keep my word on that and we'll get those things finished up. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let me show you how I fight Ifrit, I suppose. 
Well, this is what I do to Ifrit nowadays. Now that we don't really need the points, this is what I do to Ifrit. Yeah, that party looks great. Why not? I don't even pick the party anymore. I'm just gonna bring my PvP party because who cares, right? And on that note, make sure that you are doing Ifrit, even if you're doing it on Pro or Elite or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you're doing it to get the free... This actually does no damage. Uh, to get the free rank experience, that's exactly what I'm doing it for right now. I don't need the points. And in the end, I will be selling all my points, uh, coins anyway, points. Selling all my points and coins anyways, as should you, because unless you need the points or the gear. In my situation, I pretty much crafted everything. Since I've already crafted everything, there's no reason to hold on to them. So I'm using it literally to farm gil. And um, more importantly, to farm um, the rank experience. So this is the pro version. Obviously, I have a little bit of stronger character. So they're going to be able to one-shot him. But even if you kill him in two shots... Actually, as long as you kill him within the before he does a second plume, radiant plume, as long as you kill him within that time, then you're doing really, really good. Because the second radiant plume is always just hell. So there we go, 500. So we got 300 points, uh, 300 uh, rank experience and 586 coins, which is not that bad, I suppose. He's only level 19. He's dropped down two levels, three levels, or whatever. So you can just do that real quick. Let's look at the rankings, and we'll call it a video. So I've dropped 3,000. Because I'm not running this anymore, and I guess people still want to be ranked first. Jesus, this guy is still going. These two are really close, so they're probably going to keep pushing each other. And this guy... ...is ridiculous. Like, why, why would you... Whatever, I don't know. I don't know what people's incentives are to keep pushing the event when you already have all the points and stuff like that. But whatever. To each their own. Boys and girls, thank you so much for sticking around. Hopefully this news has you guys excited as I am very excited for the story and continuing it. Not so much excited about Laswell's uh, ranking up, but then again, I'll have to do a little bit of research to see exactly how good he becomes as a 6-star unit. Does he become uh, viable like uh, Rain? And then we'll go from there. But in the meantime, definitely look forward to this. It's coming very shortly and we'll be able to enjoy that uh, together. And come back to the channel because I will be doing the story playthrough like I did with... Uh, <clears throat> most of Zoldad, which and I'm going to continue the Zoldad later today, and then we can uh, see how that goes. Thank you so much for sticking around. This is 40. I will see you in the next video. I'm out of here. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all that fun stuff. All right. See ya. Bye.